this is a typical image uh, that's supplied to us from a digital photographer. As you can see, the foreground is a little bit dark because the camera has exposed for the sky. So what we're going to do is we're going to lighten up the foreground and we're going to put a blue sky in. First step is to convert the image to a CMYK image. CMYK being cyan, magenta, yellow, black, which are the four printing inks. I go up to image, mode, and CMYK color. You don't see that much of a change simply because the computer is trying to match the color that's already there, but just using four inks instead of three. The next thing I'm going to do is change the image resolution so it's suitable for printing. Again, I go up to image, down to image size, and I see the resolution is 72 dpi. I'm going to change that DPI to 300. The image is now ready for printing, although the color isn't as good as we want it. Change the color by going into Image, Adjustment, Curves. This brings up this sub-menu, and we are going to change the color by dragging the line downwards to brighten up the image. I'm going to push the upper end of the line upwards so that I keep the darkness in the very dark shadows, but pulling down the lower end of the line brightens up the foreground. I'm now going to put a nice blue sky by using the magic wand to select the white area of the sky. I'm going to put a slight soft edge onto that selection so that we don't see a join. I'm going to do the sky a nice pale blue colour, which I'm going to select using the colour picker. And I'm going to use the CMYK values here to give myself a nice pale blue. I could use this panel here to select various blues, but I'm going to use the values 45 cyan and 12% magenta, and that gives me a nice pale blue. And once I've okayed it, that colour now appears as the top colour in my colour picking palette selecting the top of the screen, scrolling down to where I want the gradient to finish. Remove the selection. And there we have our picture with a nice blue sky.